Hello everyone. Welcome to Irish Fiddling 101, a continuing series of videos uh, to show the beginning and intermediate students great Irish trad fiddle tunes. I'm your host Tom Morley. I'm a fiddle player, educator, and the author of the book Learn to Play Irish Trad Fiddle. Uh, my specialty is learning to find great tunes that are not too tricky but are quintessentially Irish and have a great, great Irish sound to them. Um, the tune we're going to learn today is the one I just played for you. It's called the Road to List Dune Varna. It's one of my all-time favorite tunes. Uh, actually, I, it might be one of the very first tunes I ever learned in the Irish traditional world. I've made a living as, an, as a fiddle player in many ways through my career. I've uh, toured with country music singers. I've been in uh, shows, pop, pop music shows. I've played jazz and swing, uh, bluegrass, you name it. I've, I've tried to uh, enjoy all the genres of music. But when I got into the world of Irish traditional fiddling, a little less than uh, 20 years ago, uh, I was listening to these tunes and they were very tricky to me at first. I had a lot of trouble hearing how they went and how to memorize these little nuggets, these perfect little, these little tunes. But one of the first ones I was successful with was the Road to Liston Varna. This tune is a, a slide, it's in 6-8 time, but it's a very uh, slow moving tune and I'll show you that in a, in a few minutes here and as we explore how to learn this tune during the video. Uh, the, the tune has a special place in my heart. Uh, on the uh, very second trip that I made to Ireland in 2004, uh, that was the first time I took my fiddle with me. Uh, it was a, still a brave thing to do because I was, still didn't know a whole lot of Irish fiddle tunes and was quite nervous playing at any pub or anything like that. Um, but I did have the fiddle with me and as we were driving around the countryside, uh, we saw a giant sign pointing to the town of Listoon Varna. And uh, so I got out and my wife Fran uh, clicked this picture of me, still one of my very favorite pictures of all time of me playing the fiddle. And I'm sitting there by the sign and I'm on the road to Listoon Varna, obviously. Uh, it seems pretty uh, obvious, I guess, but I, I thought it was wonderful. Then, uh, a little less than 10 years later, I took a big group of my own adult students to Ireland back in uh, 2013 and we went from one end of the country to the other and uh, performed all over the place at pubs, community centers. Uh, we played at an old church in Kilfenora and uh, just had a wonderful time. And uh, we stayed near the town of Listoon Varna and once we got to a giant sign, an even bigger sign pointing to Listoon Varna, we all got out of the, the bus and uh, took this great group shot of me and all my students on the road to Listoon Varna. So once again, uh, me and all my students love this tune and we all think of the times we were actually in Ireland on that road headed towards that little town of Listoon Varna. I guess, so that makes it extra special. Uh, a, a slide is in 6-8 time, like a jig, but uh, while a jig is usually a quite a busy tune with one note for every tune, with it for every count, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, busy tunes, you might say. There's kind of often one note for every number, one, two, three, four, five, six. A slide is in 6-8 time, but uses much more of a uh, long, short, long, short, long, short rhythm. Instead of... So uh, you can tell the difference quite quickly that way. Uh, slides are tunes that are quite popular in an area of Ireland called the Schlieff Lucra area, the Rushy Mountains, uh, kind of in the southern, southwestern uh, part of the country. There they love uh, two kind of tunes in particular, slides and polkas, and uh, uh, there you'll hear lots of these kind of tunes coming out from that area. They all go along with dance steps, of course, that's what all Irish traditional tunes were ever meant for was for musicians to play while people dance. Nowadays we've kind of forgotten that. Uh, it's up on a stage and in the pubs and so people don't dance so much. But a slide is a form of a, a special kind of dance while a jig, a busier 6-8 tune, would, would, you would see people do a, a different dance. 
to that dance steps. Uh, well, let's learn how to play the Road to Listoon Varna today. <laughs> Uh, the uh, melody is based on an E minor uh, scale off the D scale, so it's an E Dorian scale actually. So it's the notes in a D scale. Two sharps, but starting on E to E. I love that scale. Most of my favorite tunes in the Irish traditional uh, repertoire are in that one note off scale. It sounds very melancholy. It's half happy, half sad, as I like to say to my students. Uh, so that's the notes we're going to be using, and we go right into the very first notes are the D and E. So you can see we used a part of that scale right away from open D to first finger E, and then we rocked it across to the first finger on the A string, and then walked, went right on up the A string. Then we're going to go back to the D string. This little finger dance is there. Starts on the first one is on an F sharp, second finger on the D string. Then open D, up and right down again as you're learning to play tunes by ear. That's one of the most important things to listen for. After you hear a, a note, did the next part of the melody go up? Did it go down? Did it dip down? Did it make a big jump, maybe across the string? So those are the things you want to listen for. Let's listen to those first four measures again, and you'll be uh, well on your way to playing the whole tune. Here, here we go. So we see this whole uh, tune, the A section, and particularly kind of works off the rocked first finger. A really good trick, I teach all my students to rock or toggle their finger over. Don't pick it up and put it over brand new or you'll hear that happen. You can't avoid it, no matter how good you are. So teaching your finger to pull across that way will give you both notes smoothly and quickly, especially if you want to put them in a slur. So that's something to work on. All right, let's listen to that A section of the tune again. So there we go, it's really uh, right there in that, on your D string and A string. So the first part of the melody is not too bad. Now, a lot of Irish traditional tunes often jump up in pitch for the B section, which helps make them a little more exciting and interesting. And sure enough, that's what happens with this tune. You start right on an open E for the B section. Then you dip down, and down again, back. And it ends like the first section. Let's listen to it again. Open E. Drop down to the D. Drop down to C sharp. Back to D. So you can see how uh, lazy this tune sounds. The slides in 6-8 times sound so much different than, than a regular jig with, uh, with lots of busy notes. Uh, I really like the sound of these slides. Uh, also, you might notice as I'm playing, I don't always talk about the uh, slurs in uh, my videos because that's something you uh, can pick up from looking at the sheet music. 
uh, and then invent some of your own to make it work. Um, I usually don't worry about the slurs with my students as they're memorizing or making a tune, uh, playing it by heart. Uh, the slurs will come later. But in a slide, you can slur lots of notes in big groupings, which once again also adds to the kind of uh, a sinewy, uh, smooth texture of the tune as opposed to the... Instead of that, you really can add lots of slurs. So watch me as do some of the slurs in the second section of the tune. See, I put all those in the up bow. Lots of slurs there. So I'm doing two notes in a down bow, three notes in an up bow, so I'm really smoothing it out with some, some great slurs, and that will help a lot as well. If I did it without the slurs, I don't think you'd like it as much. It still is okay, but, but the slurs really add to, to the sound of the tune. All right, let's put the whole tune together and uh, see if you can see those elements of this tune once again. We're gonna start right from the beginning. One, two. So did you hear all those elements as we played that, the lower part in the A section, the higher part in the B section, but a very smooth, clever melody all throughout. A lot of the uh, Irish melodies sometimes are just one, one measure, so we had that went up and right back down, then we, had, we went to the D uh, and played a note, jumped down and worked our way back up, then we went one note lower and did the same thing again. Then we went back to the D. So a lot of times the, uh, the Irish tunes will have a little melody. It'll move down a little bit and then it'll move right back up. Maybe it'll be a one measure melody. Maybe it'll be just a few notes. But you can listen for those things as well. Well, I hope you like this new tune, a slide, The Road to List Dun Varna. It's included in my book, Learn to Play Irish Trad Fiddle. And if you like that tune, then you might want to Check out my book. There's 50 tunes in there for the beginning and intermediate player. It includes a CD with me playing all the tunes, so you can listen to me play those tunes as often as you want at a kind of a medium speed and learn them by the music or by ear or a combination of both, the way I like to work with my, my own students. So that's Learn to Play Irish Trad Fiddle. You can find it at irishtradfiddle.com. Uh, you can also check me out on Facebook. I have a page, The Fiddle Center, Tom Morley's Irish and American Fiddle Studio. And you can contact me anytime at thefiddlecenter at gmail.com. I'll answer your questions about fiddling, uh, send you the sheet music to this tune, 
and uh, I encourage everybody to enjoy playing some Irish traditional fiddle along with me. We'll see you next time for the next episode of I Irish Fiddling 101. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs>